Talladega Jane Doe, identified as Jean Turner Ponders. The format for this video is a little different than what I usually do, because the part I like to share first, the details of their life, aren't available, and so much is still unknown except for her name. In May of 2012, a deputy was patrolling rural Alabama near the Talladega Super Speedway in Lincoln, Alabama. He came upon a vacant home with a wide open front door. He decided to check out the area and in the backyard he found the remains of a woman. It was really odd timing too as there was a huge event going on at the speedway which was located just five miles away. They could never prove she was part of the event or even who she was. They were able to tell that she passed away from lung cancer. There's no indication she met with anything other than a natural death, but I know I can't help but wonder why she was there, alone, on an abandoned property. To be sick and alone is a heartbreaking proposition. Authorities believed her to be between 45 and 65, but if she was so sick, surely someone was looking for her. Yet there were no hits at all when they checked for missing persons. They even had a great clue. She had dentures engraved with what appeared to say powders, which is of course almost correct, but also not ponders. Finally, in 2021, the Lincoln police partnered with Othram Labs to use DNA and they used crowdfunding for the cost. This led to the confirmation that her name was Jean Turner Pounds, who was born in Roswell, Georgia in 1945. So in 2012, she was 67, just a couple of years older than the estimate. Her sister reported her missing from Roswell, Georgia in 2015, saying she hadn't seen her for three years. Why she was in Lincoln, 125 miles away, is uncertain. There are still so many unanswered questions in this case, and anyone with information is asked to call the number on the screen. Jean Turner Ponders went unidentified for nine years. The Chapin Township John Doe, identified as Jing Rong. Jing was a 27-year-old married University of Michigan doctoral student when he rented a plane on March 15, 2017. From then on out, nothing made sense. The Cessna he was flying crashed landed in Canada when it ran out of gas. But Jing was nowhere to be found. It landed in a snowy area and there were no footprints, so his absence made no sense. Clearly didn't walk away. Jing Rong was 27 at the time of his disappearance. A spokesman with the Ontario Provincial Police previously said authorities came to the conclusion that Jing had jumped from the plane at some point during the flight, though there was no information that he was feeling suicidal. It was a very strange situation. Then in September of 2018, the owner of some land in Chapin Township, Michigan, was using his cameras to take photos of wildlife. Instead, he spotted the remains of an unidentified man. They believed the man had been there for one to five years. His death appeared to be due to blunt force trauma, and they surmised that it was an adult man from 25 to 55 who had been severely beaten. Many of his bones were broken, and they made a note that it was similar to a man who had been beaten, hit by a car, or fell from a plane. This was the key. They tried to find his name submitting his DNA to CODIS, but with no hits. In 2021, Othram Labs became involved and began searching the reports of missing Asian males in the state of Michigan during the time frame established. This eventually led to Jing Rong, who was reported missing in 2017. They would use dental films to confirm his identity. He was married and his wife had filed a petition shortly after his death to have him declared dead. They knew there was no parachute and there was no chance he was alive, and they said the chance that he was alive was nil. His wife stated that she resides in San Francisco, and his parents live in China, and she was trying to address insurance inquiries regarding the rented plane. Jing was a certified pilot, and inside the plane was found all his personal belongings, such as his wallet and his iPad. One of his last tweets in October of 2016, Academia should definitely promote wishful thinking. When I snap out of depression, the whole world just changes. It's so beautiful. Jing Rong went unidentified for three years. The Lake Elsinore Jane Doe, identified as Linda Louise Durnell. Linda Durnell's marriage to Philip LeBeau fell apart sometime in the 1970s. She was his third wife and he had a habit of being physically abusive to his significant others. This led the police being called more than once and a marriage of only four years for the two. Philip didn't want to let her go, however. 
Even once she got away, she wasn't fully away. He broke into her home, stealing items, and he got caught slashing the tires of her new boyfriend's car. He also put sugar in the man's gas tank. Philip was not playing around. Linda was 27 when she was last spotted on October 6, 1977, at a restaurant in Tustin, California, where she met her ex-husband, Philip LeBeau, to collect the money he owed for destroying the boyfriend's car. She left the meeting alone, but shortly after she was seen at a Texaco station in her 1971 Volkswagen microbus, arguing with a man that fits the description of her ex-husband. This was the last time Linda was ever seen. She had gotten gas, and the man was pushing her around. She jumped into her vehicle, and while she was trying to get away, she accidentally backed into another car. As a result, she jumped out of the car and on foot ran toward Red Hill. The man with her took off after her. The unidentified man drug her back by her arm to her vehicle, where she gave her information to the man she hit. It's believed she left alone in her car, but nobody saw her after this. Linda was reported missing by her boyfriend, and the only movement on the case was three days later, when Linda Jernell's 1971 Volkswagen van was found abandoned along Interstate 5, off the side of the road near an exit ramp, with all of her belongings still inside including her purse. There was no evidence of a struggle, and Linda was nowhere to be found. She would be listed as a missing person for the next 45 years. The unknown truth was that she was found 10 years after she disappeared. In 1986, a crew was doing survey work along the side of the Ortega Highway in Riverside County, and they found partial skeletal remains 46 miles away from where Linda went missing in Tustin, California. They were able to tell that the young woman had been shot in the head, but they had no indication of who she was or who took her life, thus leading to her becoming the Lake Elsinore Jane Doe in 1986. In the meantime, Linda's family kept looking for her. In fact, her Charlie Project listing indicated that Philip LeBeau was considered the prime suspect in her disappearance. It turns out, on the night Linda disappeared, witnesses stated that Philip LeBeau returned home wearing wet clothes. He told the police he'd gone to the Ortega Highway residence he once shared with Linda to reminisce, and then stopped for a swim. Those close to him told the police that while he was already in a relationship with a new girlfriend, he was fixated on his ex-wife. If only the police had realized it was Linda found on that same Ortega Highway a decade later. Instead, it took 35 years for that to be known, and in January of 2022, the DNA from the Elsinore Jane Doe was uploaded into a local database and it matched that of family members who had been looking for her all that time. Philip LeBeau avoided a full investigation into the crime because her identification was successfully hidden, but he lived under a cloud of suspicion that he'd done something to her. Unfortunately, he died in 2008, so he won't pay for anything. But he remained a primary suspect in her case until his last breath. The police still continued to seek information on the case. Linda Louise Jernell went unidentified for 35 years, and she was missing for 45. She was found 50 miles away from where she originally went missing. That's it for today. Thanks, everybody. Take care of yourselves and each other. <laughs>